Hi, hello everyone. Uh, I'll be talking about so this talk is about Telegram Bell. Which is a connection manager for Rain. So any one of you are wondering why such a strange or weird thing, I'll explain that as well. So, so let me introduce myself. Short introduction. Uh, I'm Alok Anand. I'm maintainer of Telepathy Bell. I'm a, I'm a computer science student third year in India. And, uh, I've been, I've, 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 I've worked on Telepathy Bell in my Google Summer Project in 2016. So, as I already mentioned, the, this was my Google Summer Project. So I had some excellent mentors. The idea was uh, proposed by Daniel himself, and he was involved with APM. And he was also working on telephone reciprocate. So, and Stephen Salimovic was a member of Shipwork and Linux Rim team, and uh, Alexander Kulich, who is an active maintainer of telephone QB. So he's the people guided me throughout my project. I think the slides have been started. Oh, the slides is going. Yeah, you can see them. So you can continue. Uh, so I actually do not see the really updated slide on my screen. So the telepathy connection manager, question mark. Right. Short lightning talk, I will stick with it. We are losing time, so we will jump into the topic straight away. So, why create a connection manager? So, there was a telepathy talk earlier in this room today, and I was just, just be reiterating some key points about telepathy. So, telepathy defines itself as a, a modular framework that can allow real time communication services to plug as a backend. We all can work together. This common framework, and uh, 
So there are several components to this modular framework. Uh, we we have we have a look at the major ones from the perspective of uh, to, to the connection manager developing developer point of view. There's a connection manager, which is the, which is the service which is the which forms the pluggable protocol backend part of the framework. And uh, these uh, these services can allow other communication services like text, call, etc. And this client will be the application that user uses to interact with the telemetry framework. The example is the Geo, which is available for empathy, which is available in Geo. Then KD has KD empathy. Then there is the Geo Web Service, which is the service that the client uses to interact with the telemetry framework. And then there is the Geo Web Service, which is the service that the client uses to interact with the telemetry And there are other relevant, other relevant uh, Components which uh, don't to uh, don't need to go into details right now. I'll mention them for the details. Those are account manager and channel dispatcher. So while looking at this overview, you can see that this would be the uh, in a typical MS desktop. This would be the case for bus, which is used to. Share all the signals, events, messages, etc., and all the services on the top half. You can see the components of telemetry, which are necessary for telemetry. Account manager, channel dispatcher, logger, etc. And on the lower half, you can see what uh, relevant, more relevant to us, such as well, the telemetry, which will be the connection manager, and other connection managers can exist on that well. Uh, telemetry client, I think, in this case, and other. Applications which are connected to Beavers can uh, also there. So this is a general overview of the Linux system. So what's all uh, what all things will be connected to Beavers? The uh, is a very uh, Beavers extensive. It uses Beavers extensively. Now let's have a quick look into Ring. We will also I talked about Ring earlier, and I will just come to the key points here. So Ring is a Ring is an New real-time system service. It's open source, and uh, it's developed by Sigmund Linux. So, what is what is unique about Ring is that it uses a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. Some key components are uh, So, some key points about Ring is uh, it uses open HTTP. This is where all the magic of peer-to-peer -peer networking lies. And when you're using Ring, every user will use a Ring ID. So this is a this is just like a shower match, 21, sorry, 20 bytes, so 40 digits, hexadecimal digits, prefixed by a ring pool. So this would be a ring ID. This is an example of ring ID. So every user will have a unique ring ID associated with them on the distributed network. It has Ring has several clients for Windows, Mac, Linux. Android, Apple, and you know. But uh, since we are discussing about Linux here, so we'll, we'll look into the Linux clients as well. Uh, it's a GNU project, it's, a, it's become a GNU project. Mm. It, a beta to release was, was, there was a beta to release on the world. Yeah. So, fair, fair amount of development is going on in the brain. A small, a small brief introduction into its architecture. So we can say that it has a three tier architecture. The core part of it is the lib uh, Here is where the ring daemon and the PHP lies. We can, we can roughly say that this is the core part of the ring, the core logic of it. There is a lib ring client, which is common to all, which is common to all the platforms, even in Linux. And that Libring client is then used by Ring Genome and Ring KD. So Ring Genome is the official Ring application, while Ring KD is a community contributed version. So there are the, these ports, these ports of them are user level application clients for Ring. So why choose a telemetry tel So I had some very simple, very simple and straightforward reasons for that. Ring Daemon has a very well documented exposed API. So we can exploit that and easily create a connection manager. It makes an advantage. It makes the development process quite easy and quick. Uh, delivery frameworks are 
and its clients are installed it by default in many distributions, such as Ubuntu has already installed by default. KD or as I mentioned earlier, KD also has KD helper in its framework. By by that we can say that it will be a lower entry barrier for new users. A new user does not have to uh, may not have to install every uh, uh, the ring, ring client and the application can directly use the connection manager to create new account and use some basic simple tasks such as following messages, etc. And then thereby it reduces the installations that we need to do. Thereby, and connection manager is also quite uh, lightweight, which is a sort of big program job. So this will be the preview of this will be the preview of uh, by using Telepathica. As I mentioned, the ring client, of, as, I, as I mentioned, there is a ring client. It also, as I mentioned, there is a ring client. It also uses the same DBus, same DBus API, which is exposed by ring name. And so can Telepathy Bell or the connection manager can use that. So simply to interact with ring name and Telepathy client. Thereby just reducing this another step. And so as you can see that it can be equally powerful as a ring line. It may not it may not have almost all the functions of a ring line, but it can be equally it can certainly do a lot of basic tasks such as calls, messages, etc. So now what all the things that I implemented, what all the things that I did while I was working on a project. The first thing that I did was to create a base skeleton project. I used C and I used Telepathy QT as a backend. And, this, and, and then I made sure that I could connect to the payment, I could use DBus, I could debug, everything was working. And after that, I implemented some basic account management functions. So by basic, I mean uh, creating a simple account, associating a username or anything alias in the account. These are the simple things. And some basic contact management. While I was working on while I was working on Ring, it, it did not have the features to support full the contact management. It did not involve contacts as well. So what I did was uh, I during lifetime of a connection, I could associate any person who calls or any ring ID which there's a message, incoming message or something like this. I could associate with a temporary contact for lifetime of the connection. So this is what I did to that. It's all there. And then, yeah. One minute, so Jimmy has some time to present. Okay, okay, I'll have And although it was not part of the project, I did create a dev package just for experimentation purposes. I did it to be busy for the So I think I may not have a time for a demo, but I think it will make it quick, very quick. So, so I'll be using the I'll be using my phone to send a quick message to my train client. That would be so I'll be sending hi, this is live. And the phone message So this is the and then this is the working, this is the logic working here. Still having any message. Try this one here. Okay. This is the video because it's the traffic on the network right now. So I'll skip this one later. Well, I have to, or I, I did also include some, some similar. Mm -hmm. Demonstration for the reason that I was talking about in the project. So, there is a lot that can be done. Down management, there can be contact management done. Since everything is done over DBus, we believe that it will be heavy, heavy for a video call, for a high quality video call, but still, all the possibilities can be looked at. And all the other features that are that ring will be adding itself can also be added. So, I would like to also answer a question which is. Why is it inactivity on my on this connection? So I've been kind of hoping for to have this legal API 
since the poly poly game that we do very great work collecting the collection manager since spring is also being developed fast way and in within no time there will be a scale and we are making good back and have significant updates into the collection manager that's why i've been talking for some time regarding this okay so at last i will reiterate this unix philosophy do one thing and do it well but when we are using telepathy we ensure that we use one thing which is good at doing all the things so it will help people reducing their input, massive amount of efforts that they do by creating their own next of clients for their own services most of these features are stuck uh, and abstracted that can be extracted and easily integrated into the game with and the game and i would recommend anyone who you can create a simple client application to have a try and tell you the process thank you if there are any questions uh, please give me mail me and also when you like this is this is my git profile this is this will be my git profile it's there in between the slides and uh, i will also treat the slides as stuff okay that's it thank you I cannot see you, but but I just yeah I can hope that I look as cool as normal. Any question for Hello? Yeah. No. no. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Thanks, Hello. It was great to have yeah. you participate. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was great work too. Yeah. Thank you.